Even though there are only five vowels in English, there are actually around 20 different vowel sounds. Different consonants and different vowels come together and combine to make these different sounds. Do you know which is the most common vowel sound in English? In this video, I tell you all about it. Stay tuned as I make the schwa easy. Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Edward from English Made Easy, and in this video, we're going to review some of the most essential vowel sounds in English to help you sound more like a native. Let's address one question before we start. Why do we need to work on our pronunciation? Well, the answer to that depends on the individual. If you mostly use English for writing emails, for example, then pronunciation is probably not a big concern for you. You probably care more about grammar accuracy. But how about if you need to regularly communicate using spoken English at school or work? Well, in that case, pronunciation is probably really important to you. There's no point in knowing all the rules about the grammar of English if nobody can understand your accent when you try and speak to them. While having perfect near-native pronunciation might be the goal for some people, I think most just want to achieve a level where people can understand them. And this video will definitely help you with that. Let's start with a quick refresher of the five most basic vowel sounds, the short vowels. Each vowel has a short sound associated with it, and these are some of the first things you learn when studying English. The first sound is A, which is the short vowel for A. You can hear the sound in the words cat, map, and hat. The next sound is E, which is the short E. You can hear the sound at the beginning of my name, Edward, but also in the word bed or men. The next sound we'll look at is I, which is a short I sound. You can hear the sound in the words igloo, India, or it. Next up is a, or a short O sound. This sound can be heard at the beginning of the word octopus, or in the words mop and hot. And the last short vowel sound we'll look at is a, which is a short U sound. You can hear this at the beginning of the word umbrella or in the words hut or mud. There's a reason why I left the short U sound to last, and that's because the short U and the schwa are incredibly similar. I'll go into the details of their similarities soon, but let's look at the schwa first. The schwa is the most common vowel sound in the English language, which is funny because most people haven't heard of it, including native speakers. Let's take a look at my name, for example, Edward. Earlier, I said that the ed has a short e sound, ed. But how about the word? If the a in word was pronounced the short a way, it would be ward, which means my name would be Edward. And I assure you, it's Edward, even though a lot of students like to call me Edward. So what is the sound in word? Well, it's the schwa. It can be spelt with any vowel and occurs really often in English. What is the actual sound of the schwa? Well, it's a short U, but the stress is a little bit different and also the vowel length is a little bit different. A great word to identify the difference between a short U and a schwa is the word custom. We have a a uh at the beginning with a U, cus, and a a uh at the end with an O, tum, custom. The U at the beginning is just a short U, but the O at the end is actually a schwa. How can we tell the difference? Let's listen again and tell me if you can hear which sound is more stressed and longer. Custom. Custom. Hopefully you can hear that the first sound is more stressed and lasts for a longer time. That's how I know it's a short U and not the schwa. The schwa is a very short, unstressed a uh sound. Let's see if you can work out which of the syllables in the following words use the schwa. I'm going to say five words, two times each. I want you to listen and see if you can work out which vowel in the word is using the schwa. Pause the video and write your answers in the comments below. I'll give you the answers after, but I don't want you to cheat and check. Here are the five words. Banana. Banana. Apple. Apple. Student. Student. 
octopus, octopus, experiment, experiment. One of those words actually had two schwas in it. Can you work out which one? Let's go through the answers. In banana, it's the first A, which is the schwa. In apple, it's the E at the end. In student, it's also the E. For octopus, there are actually two, the second O and the U. And finally, it's the I in experiment. Why is the schwa so common in English? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One of them is that English speakers are very lazy, at least in how we speak. We always try to find ways of blending words and blending consonants together in the easiest possible form. And the schwa is the easiest vowel sound to make. The second is that the English language is stress-timed. What I mean by that is different vowels, depending on where they fit in a word, will be stressed at different degrees, but they will also last for longer or shorter periods of time. I hope this video helped you understand more about the pronunciation of the most common vowel sound in English. If you want to learn more about English pronunciation, then check out the link above to my playlist of English pronunciation videos. Do you have any specific requests for English pronunciation guides? If so, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to make a video for each. Thanks for watching this lesson of English Made Easy. If you feel like this video helped you, please give it a like, share it with your friends, or even consider subscribing to see more of our videos. If you have a question that you want answered, please post it in the comments section below. Or if you'd like to join our community, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even support us on Patreon. You can find the links to all of these below. Thanks for watching and keep learning.